26 week bump date. Me. Uh, and this is Mila, my daughter, eating a cookie. Um, <clears throat> I read that the baby is like 14 inches long or something, or, or 11 inches long, and like the size of a pineapple with its leaves on it. And it's like one pound and it's almost two pounds, I think, or maybe it's one pound seven ounces. Either way, that's awesome. Um, I don't know what else. We still sh aren't Maybe. sure on a name. I mean, we like Allison and Addison. No, no. Mila Noel, that's her name. So, um, yeah. Uh, and my son's name is Zarek Ali. So they both have middle names with double L's. So if we used Allison Big as our first name, then we don't have to have a middle name with double L's because, like, it's. We didn't exactly do it on purpose, but now that we're having another one, we aren't sure if we should do it or not. Like, don't want to leave them out. And also, my name is Michelle. My husband's name is Zach. So I have a little M, and he has a little Z. But we don't know if we should do a little another M for because she's, she's a girl, and I'm just not sure. We're just not sure. Cause like, and then we're gonna, we're, we're thinking A's because no, A and then no, M is the no. middle. And, shh, yeah. M is the middle alphabet letter mm -hmm. and Z is the end. No. So we would have it. Yeah. And then we started with Z first and then M and then A. So we did backwards. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Um, maybe no. you guys can help me with names or something. Yeah. Do you have any cool names? I, re I like Arabella too, but my husband doesn't. I don't think he really likes that name very much. But he really likes Allison, and I really like Allison. Addison. And the kids keep saying Addison, so I don't know. And then I like the middle name Rose or Riley, but Riley is um, a family name on my husband's side, I guess. I'm not exactly sure of it, but I do like like Allison Ro Rose or Addison Rose or Allison Riley, kind of. And then Addison Riley, I don't know. Tyler. But, um, I don't know. That much has changed. I crave a lot of sugary stuff, which I don't, that's not that healthy, so it kind of is bad. Because, like, already this morning I had oatmeal, and then we made puppy chow last night and sugar cookies, so I've had a little bit of everything. And, yeah. And I have my glucose test in two weeks. No. And my Rogam shot for my O negative, and then... I think, and then my, um, they're checking my thyroid again, make sure that I don't have to up my medicine anymore, and that everything's going okay, because I do have hypothyroidism, so, um, this is my first time that I've ever actually had to up my medicine while I was pregnant, though, so that, that's different this time, and my TSH was really high <laughs> when I found out I was pregnant, when, yeah. So that was scary, but it's back to normal now and everything and my medicine's higher and that's helping and I think everything's doing pretty good. Um, I don't know about my glucose test, yeah, is in a couple of weeks I'm making my husband go with me because last time with Mila I passed out and it was really bad. It was not fun for me because I just like stood up and I was like, I don't feel and then I don't remember anything. And they took me and my my son and I to a room, and I came. It was fine, everything. Like I just couldn't see. It was just bad. And then with Zarek, the one hour I passed, or I didn't pass it, so I had to go and do the three hour. And then that was horrible, and I had to drive afterwards. And like, I don't know, it made me so not myself. So that was weird. I just hope my glucose test is good, and I'm, I mean, I hope so. Um. I don't know that there's really much else to talk about. I guess I will show you my belly and measure her. Um, I did weigh 152.8 this morning, so a little under what I was last week, but that changes like all the time. And my dad's coming tomorrow from Missouri, so he has a 12-hour drive, and 
We're just all super excited that he'll be here for Christmas. So we'll probably eat some good food, hopefully. I'm not sure what yet. But, yes. Bye-bye. No, not yet. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs> She's so funny. Um, so. Bye-bye, Mom. This is the bump. From the front. And the side. And the back. The other side. This is the front. And there's stuff on it, like hair. <laughs> on the side. Um, the, the back. Side. The other side. Mila Noel. Please don't. No touchy, okay? And the front. So I'm over now. And I do have, I guess, my bras are not fitting. And this, I'm even wearing a bra. So, ooh, this actually changed. This is like 33. Last week it was 32, which is good because like I feel like I can't breathe. I feel she, like she's up there. It's 37 still. <coughs> Mila, please stop, please. Oh, Not yet. And this is 38. So right here has that bigger, and I feel it too because like, and I keep getting really bad Braxton Hicks like. Oh, oh. but like this bra is not fitting. Like, I don't understand. So I guess my boobs have actually grown, which is different for me. And the other day, my son hugged me too tight, and I wasn't wearing a bra. And he was like, what is that? And, like, I actually leaked. I don't, oh, it was just so surprising to me because I was like, what in the world? Because I have never really had very much milk. I try so hard, and so with my hypothyroidism, too, it just doesn't work. And I have a C-section. Which I will have my third repeat C-section because I cannot deliver naturally because I have a prominent sacrum and a shallow pelvis. So I have a bone in there that instead of being like this and like when your pelvis opens up, it does that. With my bones like this and so even when it kind of moves out of the way, it doesn't. And it, with my first son, I labored for 12 hours and then I had to have an emergency C-section because it was like stabbing him in the head. It was not fun. Um, and, yeah, but the whole milk thing, that was weird. I mean, I'm really happy, I hope. I wish I could leak all the time. Like, even when I'm actually breastfeeding, I've never really had to use pads. Because I, I don't leak, and I don't know if that's because I don't have very much milk, really. So when I do pump, I only get, like, one ounce, a piece, or two, and sometimes three. Like, I don't know. And I know that's, like, not anything at all, but... That is an accomplishment for me, and I'm trying. I can't take fenugreek this time. I could with my son because I didn't have hypothyroidism yet, but now that is one of the things you cannot take because it messes with your thyroid. Mommy, please. <coughs> <I'm sorry. Please. coughs> now I have this awesome cough. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I'm still sick. It's not gotten better. I've had to take cough syrup a couple times, but I called my doctor to see what I could take. And they gave me the whole list of everything for, like, any kind of ailment, like headache, blah, blah, blah. So I had to do cough syrup, but I really have to sometimes because, like, when you cough and you have a belly, like, you don't realize how much you actually move your belt, like, your belly goes. And, like, rips, it feels like you rip it sometimes when you're coughing. You're like, oh, like, I should have abs right now. <laughs> but, um, that's it. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we just like to do some new videos every once in a while. And you can request any and we could do it. I'm a stay-at-home mom of my two awesome little kiddos. And I don't know. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.